So today what we're doing is a zero overall rebuild. That's right. Every single player, zero overall. It's pretty straightforward. Otherwise, we're doing a rebuild. Let's get into it. So like I said, every player is zero overall, which means a lot of them probably going to retire at the end of the year, which sucks because now I'm going to have like half an organization. But the thing is, we could go out, we could sign some free agents. We could go out, make a couple trades. I doubt I can really make a trade, to be honest. Is there anybody I can get? I don't think I can. Yeah, so I can't make a trade. So there's that. But I could go out, sign some free agents and make this a lot easier. But I feel like that's kind of cheating. That's kind of garbage. So what I'm thinking here is if I sign a player, I have to keep them on the team. There's at least for a year. I have to keep them for a year. And then that way I can't just like pick them up in free agency and then flip them at like the deadline or something. So if I sign a player, I have to keep them for at least a year. Otherwise, scouting, all that other stuff is kind of the norm. So what I'm going to do here is I guess I guess we go out and sign somebody, right? Right? I guess so. All right, so I made two signings, Michael Conforto and also John Curtis, wherever he may be. Here he is. I mean, they're not really going to make too much of a difference. It's it's not. It's not. So we're just going to leave it there and uh, hop to the draft. All right. So we're the athletics. So we have a pretty low pick because I'm a moron and I decided to make the zero overall team the athletics because in real life, the athletics really aren't that good of a team because they're like, you know what? I don't want to spend any money because their owner is garbage for the sport either way we're gonna we're I, ah man i know i said i wouldn't take relievers first round but i kind of want to take the best player possible no matter what the scenario is here and there's a lot of good relievers chilling here there's a lot of 80 potential players in this draft still holy cow okay um i wow there's there's a lot there's way more than usual holy cow okay that being said Kind of interested to see what we're looking at here really that's that's what you're gonna give me um what about these pitchers here what do we got going on here with these pitchers i might actually take a starting pitcher i think that's probably the best player available so where where do we go i, I don't I, I'll, I'll avoid taking a closer i'll avoid taking a closer bradley jenkins i'm in i'm in he's probably not gonna be as good as he says he is but I'm kind of in just because of the hitting stats. I, ooh, I'm, I'm like really in on that. I like kind of like, I kind of like his hitting stats. So I'm probably gonna take a guy who's gonna take like 10 years to get ready. Bradley Jenkins, it is. All right, I'm gonna take Johnny here. I like his numbers. I like his numbers. And like, look, we're oh, we're in the competitive balance round because I was gonna say, look at all these 80 potential players that are still available. Which I know they may not stay 80 potential players. But there's, there's still quite a few. Normally, there's not this many. And I mean, even still, like, that's that's quite a few. And there's even some, like, sneaky players down here with the 75 potential that could be good. I know some of you guys were pointing out that I don't sort by MLB ETA. The reason I don't is because, like, a lot of the guys I usually don't have scouted. So I usually just go by accuracy or I just kind of keep it how it normally is just because it's, it's just easier for me. I know each each of you probably have a different way that you go about the draft, but for me, it's just the easiest way to kind of look at players. So that's just normally what I do, you know? Like, I don't know, it's just, just kind of what I do. So let's go with Romero here. And we still got three picks, which is kind of wild. Um, I don't really know who, who I want to go with here. Hobbs is available, we'll take Hobbs. Sure, we're gonna get a lot of pitchers, which I'm actually not against. Because if we got some really sneaky good pitchers, they could hop into the rotation quite soon and we'll be good to go. But now we're kind of hit, hitting the bottom of the barrel. So let's take Jonas Frank and then we'll just end the draft. Our first draft. See how we did. Bradley Jenkins already looks like he's going to hit 300. The rest of his stats are garbage. Good thing he's a first baseman. Could end up being really good. 59 overall. We got 90 potential for Johnny and we got him in the second round. Look at that pickup. That's huge. He's a closing pitcher. That's good to see. Castro's got 82 potential. 72 for Romero, which isn't as good as I would have liked. 84 for Hobbs. 76 for Franks. And then the CPU goes and picks up a 94 potential shortstop with speed. And that's really about it because everything else looks absolutely terrible. So there's that. All right. We won uh, zero games. Yep. Zero games in the season, which, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Even the additions of Conforto 
and John Curtis, we lost every single game, which is a little bit different because last year, if you had players like this, a zero overall team, there would still be games every once in a while where you would sneak a couple wins in. So that's that's a different sim. That's a different sim completely. And I know some of you are gonna be like, let me see the stats for all these players. Well, here you go. A whopping 143 average, a nice 169 on base percentage. And here you are. This is your stat line for the wonderful Joe Randoms out of Oakland, except for Conforto, who I gave him a three-year deal with the club option. Honestly, I don't know what to expect. Uh, I just signed him because he was one of the better players that we could get for a fairly cheap deal. And he's just going to be chilling in the squad. Pitching wise, it's going to be the same same thing. Wow, 33 games started, 31 losses. That's pretty terrible. A nice whip at about a 3.17. An ERA most starters would look for. But we've got that in the whip category. And the ERA close to 18. Oh man, that is beautiful. A 20 ERA, give me more of that and the issue is they don't have stamina so they're not really pitching much the guys who are eating all the innings are our relievers as you can see somehow this guy jumped up to a potential from f everybody has f potential i don't understand how these guys are jumping to a potential there's no way there's just no way that happened it's got to be a bug either way um awards i'm assuming some of the west is getting some uh, beefy stats because of this, like a 420 on base percentage and all that good stuff. So yeah, I mean, this year, you guys can kind of see the award winners here. I'm not really too worried about it. Our team's not that great. We're not competing, right? Like that's kind of what's expected from us. Realistically, this is where we start the actual build. Where can we sign some players? Where can we get rid of players? And normally what I do with this rebuild is if I sign a player, oh, geez, um, holy cow, that's like, that has to be over half the organization, right? That hat. Oh, we have nobody left. How many players do we have in the organization? So we have 12, 15, that's 27, 4, 31, 35, 35 players left out of the 90. Jeez. All right. So normally what I do is I will sign a player early in free agency and then I will trade them or I'll sign a player and then I'll Basically, what I do is a sign and trade. That's really what I do in these rebuilds. But now making the rule where I have to keep a player for a year makes things a little bit difficult. I could go out and trade Conforto. I could go out and trade Curtis because I think I gave him a... Did I give him a two-year deal? I think I did. I don't remember now. Maybe I only gave him a one-year deal. Either way, I could trade Curtis. Curtis is probably the one that I will trade just because I need to get rid of some players. Um, that's, that's really what it comes down to. I, I got to... I gotta at least try to get like a two for one and he is in his second year so i wonder if there's if there's anything that i can get like a two for one anywhere because i need i need that like that's that's where I, I just need more players into the team plus we've got a certain budget where we now have to sign what seven six fifty fifty some players which is wild so i don't know how i'm gonna do that let me find a trade though i lied every trade was for like triple the salary i can't be taken on that so honestly i'm gonna re-sign everybody and then free agency i'm not going big i'm really looking just to fill the squad so honestly i'll see you at the start of season two but what i'm looking at is like joe ross matthew boyd lorenzen maybe throw in a nice carlos martinez in there maybe a waka waka i don't know yet but i got 95 mil to fill out an entire organization let's do that all right, so the season, season two, let's see how we do. We got a little bit of work to do. There's, yeah, too many do's in there. All right, so as you can see, this is currently what we're looking like. We've got Waka, Heaney, Ross, Archer, and Freeland. I look at that and I go, you know what? It's probably not the worst in the league, but it, it's 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 pretty close. Um, And then you look at our bullpen. Yeah, I mean, we, we've got some okay players for franchise for sure. But like at the same time, like, yeah. All these are signed most of them are signed to like one or two year deals some have options some don't some were picked up in the rule five some weren't realistically however i could get them that's how i got them so yeah um usually if i thought they were gonna do well for more than one year i would extend the like i would give them a two or three year deal it really just depends if they had b potential i usually gave them a a, a two deal if i had yeah, basically, if I thought they were going to be good for a couple of seasons, I tried to I give them more than a one year deal.
everybody else, I gave them a one-year deal just because I didn't think they'd be on the team much longer. So there's that. There's that. We've got we've got some names. Um, we've also got some really bad names. We've also got no farm system at all. Like that's really what it comes down to. So there are some players, you know, in the farm system. There was somebody actually signed in free agency that could end up being kind of good. I found him and I was like, yes, please. Fielding, speed, decent bat. Only see potential, so he probably isn't going to improve too much more. But as like a guy who could come off the bench, not bad. Not bad. I think that was really about it, though. Um, we, we drafted Williams. We drafted Jenkins. Didn't draft a catcher. I know that. Um, this guy, who did I sign? Oh, I drafted Johnny. We got Johnny chilling. Who else? Anybody else? I don't Castro? Did I draft did I draft Castro? I think I did. Maybe. I don't remember now. I I I don't remember. I I really don't. I think I did. Honestly, it's now starting to just mesh together. Let me find let me find the draft. Let me draft. Romero, Castro, Hobbs, Johnny, Jonas, Jenkins, and Williams. Everybody else has been signed by free agency. So and then Holder was a rule five pick. But everybody else was free agency. I haven't made any trades. The only trade that I could make is Curtis and Conforto, but they don't really have value right now, especially Curtis. Curtis, I can't really get much. And I don't really have much money to play with. So like I have 26 mil, but like I kind of want to save that because I want to start adding better players. So I'm going to save it till the draft or deadline, 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 deadline. I'm going to save it till the deadline. And that's when I'm going to start to make some trades. As I almost backed out, I would have lost my mind. So deadline, I'm going to make some trades. Either Conforto or Curtis. That's really about it. I'll see you guys then. All right, draft time. We got the first pick. Let's make it a good one. Juan Perez. Wow, he looks good. No closing. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Ooh. We are uh, looking at a lot of good relievers. Outside of that, nothing? Every single blue chip prospect is a reliever or a, a 40 overall catcher? I, these center fielders aren't going to do it for me. And that's normally why I don't draft the blue chip guys. Because none of them are like close to being good. Unless it's a reliever. And a lot of you have been in the comment section saying, why aren't you drafting blue chips? A lot of the time in my rebuilds, I'm looking for a player that is going to come out really, really soon. And unless it's a reliever, blue chip prospects are long-term prospects. Like that's that's kind of kind of the issue. This guy may be, I mean, he's got decent fielding, decent speed. He's got some power. But we're still looking at probably like four years before he makes it to the bigs. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in the scouts this year. Like, what? How do you come up with nobody that looks like he's going to be like any, like a quick turnaround? Like, really? Nobody? I guess I'll take Juan Perez. I'm going to take Pena next. That's what it looks like. Um, yeah, we were in the competitive balance pick. So, I was looking at him. Actually... Shortstop's got vision, okay discipline, okay contact. I mean, he's definitely a, a guy that's going to take some time to develop, but okay, we'll take the shortstop. I'm going to take this guy, Richard Kuo, out of South Korea. I mean, looks like a decent reliever. We might actually have some, like, okay players that get into the team. Is there anybody else? Anybody else? I'll take a shot. I'll take a shot. Why not? I mean, what, what do we have to lose? Our team gets worse? Oh, no. We're already pretty bad. We're, <laughs> we're already... Like, really, really bad. So, I'll take a catching prospect. Always okay to have one that may end up turning out to be good. And then I'm going to take this guy, Steven Min. I mean, he looks like he could be good, but who knows. So, let's go see how we did. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 99 potential on the left fielder, Perez, who's got the power versus lefties. Everything else is kind of bad, though. The vision, discipline, the contact. Ugh, yikes. Okay, we've got Pena with 85 potential, 89 potential for Villa, but again, 55 overall. Lord. Uh, Kuo looks okay with 61 overall, 74, or, uh, yeah, 61 overall with 86 potential. Another 61 overall with 74 potential. 75 potential for Broadway, but, like, I don't even think he, he might need to turn to Broadway because baseball really isn't in his future. And we've got Steven Min, who, as a last pick, yes, please. Yes, that's good. All right, I'm going to pick up Ramon Urias from the Orioles for John Curtis straight up. I, I think that is a great deal. And then we've got Conforto for another year if I pick up his option. But realistically, like, eh. Uh, he hasn't been as good as in, like, previous videos that I've done. He's actually picked it up this year, which could mean he's pretty solid. 
but like he's still putting up like really similar numbers to like other guys in the lineup so like i, I just i don't know i feel like i can get something a little bit better especially if a team's looking for an outfielder which apparently no teams oh the braves are looking for a right fielder this is my time to swoop in right now all right i get aj mincer or conforto i will take it it's a lefty reliever solid so with that being said what did we get again urias who's a shortstop which actually is he's always really good uh who else harold ramirez i did not get him but not in a trade and then aj mincer is a setup guy slash reliever he's only pitched 20 innings but like it looks kind of good it looks kind of good so that's the only trades i can do as you can see we're not the worst team in the league though so that's good to see we're we're taking steps up i'm gonna leave it there those are the only two trades i can make let's keep moving forward 71 and 91 huge improvement huge improvement i didn't think we really were that good apparently so so judge is with the tigers now okay soto okay okay mustakis mustakis oh yeah casually hitting under 200 last year garbage garbage year and then all of a sudden he's like oh yeah yeah let me just get to the mvp race really quick yeah casual casual stuff who's stockings casual just super super casual season from him um otherwise yeah it was kind of bad uh for us no awards nothing like that okay pitching let's see here because there were actually a couple that caught my eye where i was like okay tyler anderson not bad i'm worried he's not gonna hold his rating though so that's a worry we've got fulton avich eh. Uh, Archie Bradley. E. Travis Lakins, though. Solid. I'm bringing him back. I, I, oh, I already don't. I already, I already will be. I didn't, I didn't know I offered him a two-year deal. Older. Uh, he might be a guy that I just let walk. We've got Bidrosian, who wasn't bad. And the overall's going up. I like to see that. That's good. Minter, we picked him up. Solid. And then Caleb. Potential went up. Overall went up. But his uh, numbers weren't fantastic. I, I did give him a two-year deal, though. So we're going to have him. So there's that. Uh, Waka, not great. I think gave him two years without a club option. All right, so he's going to be traded. All right, uh, Heaney, not terrible. If Didn't give him an extension. All right, uh, Joe Ross, I know I gave him multiple years. That's gross to see. Chris Archer, not great. And Kyle Freeland was like, whatever. I. Uh, it's just not good, right? It's it's just not good. Who got sent down? Zara. Man, I gave you two, three. I gave you three years. Oh, boy. Traded, 100% getting traded. Love to see it. We got DD down to a 62 overall. Oof. Uh, Van Meter wasn't great. Maldonado was a backup catcher. And then Random got called up. And then Ildemaro Vargas, again, not great. Wilmer Defoe, not too bad. I definitely need to keep him only versus righty. So that's something I got to keep him in the lineup for. Urias on base machine. I know he doesn't have the power. That's perfectly fine. EJ Stewart, 23 home runs. I think we can work with that. I think that's fine. Vogelbach, 26 home runs. Probably could work with that too. Tyler Naquin was okay. Not terrible. Harold Ramirez, uh, not, not bad. It looks like he is still going up too. So might be a guy I try to keep. VR, 24 home runs isn't bad, but the rest of the numbers aren't great. And then John Hicks, as a catcher, honestly, not bad. I will take, I'll take that. That is... That's a guy I might bring back for another year. Okay, so looking at that, the Dodgers defeat the Astros in the World Series. We're heading to the offseason. Edy retired. Okay. Okay. Um, what do we do here? VR. I'm gonna decline that option. So now I gotta figure out. I don't know if he's gonna hold this rating. He was decent. He was decent. How much does he want for a year in the bullpen? Two mil? I think for two mil we can take the shot because I don't expect to compete. Drosian is going up a little bit. I'm only going to do a year, though. He wants two mil. Two mil it is. And then... I, I think we let the rest go. I think we let the rest go. I think I think that's the move we make. Save that money. Go somewhere else. Spend the money on better players. 40 man. I, if they get taken, good for them. I'm going to offer arbitration to a couple guys. I'm probably also going to cut a couple guys. I have a feeling we're going to have quite a, quite a bit of money to play with. So I'm going to start to add some big name guys. And then I'm also going to make some trades for guys that I just don't want on the team anymore. Like Mazzaro, who's coming off a bad year. So let me make those trades first. I'm going to pick up Senzatella. He's coming off a crazy year. I like it. I like it. I'm going to get rid of Mazzara, Bradley, and Waka. That's that's a deal I'm all in on. All right. Two starters. I would love an ace. I would love an ace. I would love to also pick up a couple relievers. I'm looking at our team. We've actually got a couple players that are on the fringe of being MLB ready. We've got Castro. 
potentially. I don't know about him. He might be a guy I trade. We've got Min. Min is real close. Like this guy might be a late call up, to be honest. He's looking great. Same thing with Johnny. Johnny's getting close. We've got the first baseman Jenkins just based off that, that uh, vision, discipline, and contact. I think this guy's going to rake. And then we also have somebody else. Oh, Perez, but eh, I don't know about him. I did call up Valentin as like a backup outfielder. Like I said, I don't expect him to improve too much more, but he could. He could. He might be He might be a surprise. So lineup wise, we need some outfield help. Need a ooh, third baseman, center fielder, and a right fielder. So we've got a lot of work to do with about 80 mil-ish to play with. So let's spend some money. All right. Money's been spent. Uh, as you can see, we're up to 86, which I'm probably going to leave it here. These are current offers. Shohei, max deal. Devers, four years, 61. I think that's great value. Jesse Winker, eight years, 125. That got us all the way up in interest. That's why I'm offering that much. And then we've also got Jordan Hicks, three years, 20 mil. There's a couple other players that I have my eye on. One of them is Ian Happ, eight, that's about eight mil. Does he want a longer deal? He does. He's looking for about 11 mil. Ah, that's that's gonna max us out. I mean, we don't even have that kind of money to work with. So, ooh, hold on. If I sign Hicks, I won't need either Bedrosian or, who's the other guy that we have? Bedrosian or Tyler Anderson. But I like Tyler Anderson for the long relief spot. So I guess I will need them. Ooh, so I think we leave it here. I think adding Otani, Devers, Hicks, those, those are huge pickups. Does it leave us short in other positions? Probably, but at least it gives us some, some, some firepower in this lineup. Do we even get them though? That's that's another thing. I don't even know if we're gonna get them. So this is kind of the first time where I'm like, yeah, let's let's check it out. What do we got going on here? Jesse Winker signs, that's big. What about the other guys? I need to know the other guys. That wasn't one of them. Where I, I honestly I just want to know Otani. Did we get Otani in the bot? Sign sign the contract. Did we get him? We did. We just don't have Devers. What's what's the situation with Devers? We're well in first place. If we don't get Devers, I'm going to be very upset. Very upset. Sign it, please. Just sign sign the thing. I'm also going to take advantage of the Rule 5 draft this time. We got the ninth pick. I'm going to probably pick up uh, probably like a, a backup guy. Someone that can just kind of come off the bench for us. Help us out a little bit. Because that's what we need. We need like the, the bench bats. Who... And there really isn't one available. I guess maybe like a, maybe like an infielder. I saw somebody. Fuentes isn't bad. We could go with Kiroz. Oh, maybe like Rivas. It's another lefty, but he looks a little bit more well-rounded. And I know he's with the Cubs, so I know I know about him. I also know KJ Henderson's kind of nasty in the future, so I might take KJ Henderson instead of Rivas. I'm gonna leave the rest as is. I do want to see if they. They picked up anybody else in the Rule 5 draft. Nope, just KJ Henderson. I need... Oh, Devers signed. We're good. That's our offseason. All right, so we're already 19th, which is pretty good. The lineup still needs a little bit of tweaking, I think. I mean, I might have to play a little matchups. A couple matchups here and there. But, like, when you look at it, that's not bad. Otani, Devers, Winker. I mean, like, that right there is gross. And then we got a little bit of more power. And then Defoe... Ramirez and Hicks, you know, kind of, kind of cools off towards the end. But either way, it's pretty good. Our bench is looking decent as well. And then when you look at the rotation, Otani, Taiwan Walker, I somehow snuck his contract into the mix. Might be good, might be bad. We've got Joe Ross, probably a trade. He set the deadline. Same thing with uh, Freeland. But overall, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. Like this team's actually starting to come together pretty quickly, and I like it. Prospects still developing, but overall, I'm pretty happy with everything that's coming together. So I think we're I'm, I think we're looking solid. I think we're looking pretty good. So this draft, I might just show you the the end of it, like how it turned out, and then we'll just keep going from there. Draft for season three. I didn't really like any of the picks that I made. I'm like Viegas is good, you know, McGinnis is decent, but like Reynolds, I'm not. Oh uh, man, velocity, he throws gas. It's great and all, but like I don't know. I just didn't really like this draft like at all. All right, Alex Wood for Joe Ross and Keone Kella. It's going to leave me a reliever short, but I'm actually okay with that because we've got two really good relievers in Min, who's killing it in AAA. And we also got Johnny, who's actually doing pretty well also. So, like, we've got we've got the relievers. I mean, even the starter, Castro, potentially could have been called up too, but I'm going to I'm gonna rely on Min to come up, help us out a little bit in the majors. So now Alex Wood 
comes in, slots in right there, Min slots in right here. And you can see Anderson is, oh wow, Anderson's getting lit up. I didn't realize it was that bad. So is Freeland, but everybody else is doing great. So do I turn to Castro or do I pick up maybe like a veteran? Does like Anderson even have any value? Not really. Ooh, like I'm not going to be able to get him. What about like Andrew Heaney? He's not doing well either. Could have brought him back. I'm trying to see if there is anybody that's like kind of like a low 70 that's like just really good right now like hauser yeah i'm not gonna be able to it so i think i think we got to turn to castro and hope that he kind of hops off <laughs> i hope he does otherwise we are in trouble we are in trouble everybody else is doing fairly well um like really good you can see we're in first place by nine games like that's how good we're doing look at these offensive numbers and not even players that like like William Defoe? Are you kidding me? Uh, Harold Ramirez? Trevino? Even though we have uh, Hicks who kind of cooled off this year. But like even our bench isn't bad. So like we're actually doing fairly well. Like this team's killing it. Like this, this team's scary good. 92 and 70 won the division taking on the Guardians. We kind of cooled off the second half. I had, to, I had to open my mouth, didn't I? Cooled off a little bit. Things didn't go great. Like August, you can definitely see we kind of cooled off. I mean, like look at our... I mean, the June wins, 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 wins. You got May, bunch of wins. July even, bunch of wins. But yeah, we definitely cooled off the last couple months of the season. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the way the team turned out. No MVP candidates, which is a little disappointing. A Cy Young candidate? No. Alec Manoa, if you can find a way to get him into your team, pick him up. He turns into a Cy Young candidate every single time. Oh, Wilmer Defoe. There you go with the batting title. No reliever of the year, which is disappointing. Rookie of the year? No rookie of the year candidates. But we didn't we didn't have one, did we? Holy cow, this guy out of Brazil looks insane. Oh, I'm telling you, there are some prospects now that just, just absolutely turn to just insane players. Either way, let's talk about this team here. So I feel like we're kind of screwed no matter who we go with. I'm probably gonna go with Castro in this role. As you can see, he's he's flying up with overall. Like he's growing really quickly it's just the hits per nine is so low so low but lakens was good older and eh, it's kind of the same as last year min eh. um bedrosian decent enough decent enough minter was outstanding and then hicks came in and did the business love it and then you look at our starters otani's killing it taiwan walker was really good senzatella surprisingly solid wood and then freeland was our worst one so like i mean it's not terrible. It's really not that bad. Who got sent down? Hermesio? I can understand that one. Who else? DJ Stewart? Oh, wow. He really cooled off. Anybody else? I think that's it. So I got to fix that. Let's let's make those changes. So we'll call up him and him. So who did they call up instead? A Cho Random? No, thank you. And who was the other guy that they called up? Am I missing somebody? Who, who else got called up? Oh, Tyler Anderson. No shot. No shot. No shot. Okay. Lineup wise. Oh, man. Who goes in versus righties now then? If if GJ Stewart's not doing not doing good enough. Do we go with Glacius? Do we go with Valentin? Valentin wasn't good this year, though. I think we gotta we gotta stick it out and maybe just drop him a little bit in the lineup and hope that he he turns things around. Because otherwise, we're in some trouble. So righties, how did we do? How did we do here? Valentin, not great. He's not developing anymore. It's fine. It was a shot in the dark anyways. KJ Harrison was okay. But my thing with KJ Harrison is like, once he hits 30, he's going to be a beast. If we get that far. That's what we got to keep in mind. Our bench, pretty disappointing this year. Pretty disappointing this year. And uh, that sucks. Uh, Ramon Urias though, on base machine. Love to see it. Otani, offensive numbers, almost 30 home runs. Killed it. Love it. Perfect. Devers, love it. Got it. Just... I mean, our heart of the lineup is so scary. So scary. I mean, honestly, even Vogelbach wasn't bad. Like, that's that's pretty good. Wilmer, killing it. Harold Ramirez, B potential now. He's off to a crazy start with the team. And then the bottom of the lineup, kind of kind of bad. But uh, honestly, not, not too bad. I, I feel pretty good about this going into the series. I don't know why. All right, I made a change. I want Castro in the, the rotation. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. Oh, don't even need to get there. So hold on. One, two, three, four. Oh, for some reason, I thought that that looked 
that looked like a crazy amount of games in my head. I was like, did they just give us like a 10 game series against the Blue Jays? That was, I don't know why. Oh, I can't move Otani because it's going to mess up the lineup. Um, mm, so that means I got to, uh, uh, cause, yeah, because if I take out Otani, that's the one issue with having Otani is that if I move him, the DH spot gets ruined. And, oh, that's a problem. So now I'm not going to have him until, what, game three? Oh, boy. Yikes. All right. I might have to change the lineup. Let me see what. Uh, I'm just going to keep it. And hopefully it doesn't let us down too much. Wow, we're getting thrashed. 22 to nothing. Are we serious here? I mean, we advanced, but 22 to nothing. Good Lord. Uh, Castro got a win, by the way. That's huge. And then uh lakins held it down for us we're taking on the dodgers and otani gets game one i guess we Ooh, I, i'm gonna change it though i'm gonna change it otani sensatella just got rocked uh how many games have we we had two days so who had it before otani so it was taiwan walker so maybe like this i i can't really sensatella got shelled man oh boy i, I guess we rock like this you know, looking at it, I feel like this is this is definitely our hardest match. Like the Dodgers is is crazy. Miami took them to seven though, so like we gotta we're gonna have to step up our game here. And I mean, it is game seven. Let's do it. <laughs> game seven. I have an idea. We're gonna go yellow pants because I'm feeling lucky, and then we're gonna go with the lefty. And the lefty is because they've got a very lefty heavy lineup. I don't want to take out Otani. I feel like he's still a guy that can bring us some something, right? Off with his bat. Jesse Winker, two runs to start it off. Holy cow. All right, a double for Ramirez. Ah, man, couldn't score there. That would have been that would have been big. A three-run lead away. Was that Zach McKinstry that just went deep? And then a double play? Come on. What? Bases loaded, one out. Fielder's choice. He gets out of that. If he can give me one more inning, that's big. I don't know if he can, though. Wilmer with the game-tying home run. Are we serious? Um, He's in the yellow. I'm going to go to Freeland here. Again, a lefty matchup. I'm feeling good about it. So, it's it's a tie ball game, though. So, I need I need a run or two. Otani getting on base is perfect. But then we don't do anything with it. Okay. Not great. Not great at all, but... The lefty matchups working well. We bring it, or they bring in Bruzdar. A walk. Trevino. Rios brings in one. That is big. That is so big. All right, lefty, lefty, and then the righty. I'm a little worried about, but we get out of the inning. They bring in a lefty to face our lefties, and that's fine. Eighth inning. Where are we? Righty, lefty, lefty. I need Minter to be lights out here. Oh man, this is this is crazy. This is crazy. All right, the closer. Let's go. Hicks. I need it. I need it here. A fly out. Really? A home run from Chris Taylor? Chris Taylor, but then Ramon Urias answers? All right, Hicks. I need you to shut it down right here. Do I go to the lefty? Do I even have a lefty? I don't have a lefty. Shut it down. Ooh, that's how we do it. Ramon Urias, give him the award. I don't care about anything else. DJ Stewart? No, get DJ Stewart out of here. Give Ramon Urias the award. Look at those numbers. Better than DJ Stewart's. What, because he had one more home run and one more RBI? Give it to this guy. This guy just won us the World Series, starting from zero overall to this. Look at that. Yes, we did. We, we do kind of have a, a chunky part of the lineup right here, but everybody else is below 80 overall. We just did that. We just did that. Pitching? Yeah, okay, Otani, but Sensatella, Taiwan Walker, Alex Wood? Come on. What, a, what about our record? 92 wins. Where do we compare to the rest of the league? The lowest, the lowest wins out of any division, and we just did that. How about some money ball for you? Actually, that that's not a good representation because we actually spent money, so it's not money ball. It's just, I won it. That's all that matters. I won it. Zero overall to this crazy team carried by Otani, Devers, and Winker. That's where I end it. 
we did it world series i hope you enjoyed it thumbs up if you did subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content and of course in the comment section got any more video ideas let me know down below i'll catch you in the next one peace did you enjoy today's video if you did i've got another one for you right here boom right there check it out it's gonna be great recommend this one